Thought I would make a quick little video about, uh, I guess it's five or six modifications that you can do to a John boat to really improve your shallow water uh, running capability and performance. So uh, for reference, this is a 1440 low Mod V John boat. Um, it's a flat bottom in the back, no tunnel. And um, these are a few things I've done I'll uh, insert a quick video of this thing running shallow, and uh, you'll be able to see that. It will run, uh, the propeller will run in a surfacing state, which means the propeller blades are breaking the surface of the water. And um, it will run with the whole top half of the propeller almost out of the water. this boat to run in that six to eight inch range of water six inches you start kind of clipping the skeg on uh the the sandbars and that sort of stuff and then eight inches that's where it's really in a sweet spot so um it, when you're in a river like this uh right now i think we're sitting in yep one foot of water so i'd be able to cruise right through here no problem um and uh yeah so just thought i would make a quick video of those things that you can do to to get your boat in that state so first thing foremost is jack plate uh that's pretty much mandatory you can get different non-adjustable cheaper versions like on amazon and stuff um i never tried one i went straight for the kind of performance jack plate i guess you would say but the lower tier end of that it's not like an atlas jack micro jack or anything i like manual things personally um just less to break so i really like this on the fly design um really simple straightforward it's literally just they took a trailer jack i, I think they may have somebody make them for them though um and the awesome thing is they sell parts for these so um, I actually, this is a replacement jack, not that my first one broke, happened to be on their website looking at their electric conversion kits because I was toying with the idea. Just ended up finding that they had a different model of jack. Um, might sound backwards, but it actually takes more turns to go from full top to bottom. But um, what that gets you is easier turning. So. I can turn this one really fast where the old one, it was kind of like this herky-jerky motion where it was a little bit of a challenge to go from bottom to top. So I don't know if that's what comes on their jacks now. Um, you'd have to ask them, but uh, this was an improvement. Really like it. Um, it's super smooth and under full power, full throttle. I can drop the motor all the way down, quick whole shot, get up on plane, and then while I'm ripping down the river, I can easily crank this up. So um, that was by far the biggest first thing that you should do. Um, next thing is a propeller. And uh, if I can get this up here. So next thing is propeller and um it'll depend on your motor options but this is a hr titan four four blade stainless prop really high rake as you can see on the blades um just for reference i carry another prop because if you spin a prop on a river you want an option to get out so you can see this one this is actually this propeller, this three blade is actually a 13 pitch and you can see the blades there, um, not much rake to them. And then this is actually a 12 pitch and you can see how much more rake. So it's a high rake and then also uh, cupped. So cupping is just that uh, very 
tail trailing edge of the face of the blade, it will be curled upwards. And that grabs the water. There's a lot of other videos out there that'll explain a lot better than me, but um, that basically helps hold the, the propeller hold the water. Then the next thing, if you're going to be running without a low water pickup, which is obviously the cheapest, if you want it, if you're going full out Bob's nose, you know, uh, the, the nose cone, or you're doing a custom low water pickup, like you're above and beyond me. Um, these are TR machining shallow scoops. These were recommended by uh, the on the fly guys. And I have been super happy. If I can get the correct angle here. There we go. You'll be able to see they stick out. Um, so the leading edge, they're basically just a, a wedge. Um, they take the standard flat uh, intake grates and uh, basically make them a, a ram intake. So as water goes up the nose cone there, it actually, like, uh, there's a word for it, but it's almost like laminar flow. It grabs water wants to even though even though this is actually completely out of the water when the propeller is halfway out of the water these are out but water kind of slides up this unit hits those and then it gets forced in so um i hold good water pressure like in that video that uh i will have inserted um hold good water pressure even in surfacing conditions so pretty good simple uh setup there's better setups if you you know want to spend the money and go full out but at that point uh, you, you're kind of taking something that's not really made to do it and forcing it if you're going to spend that kind of money for like a nose cone and everything either you're racing in a division or um, uh, you're just proving a point, I think, because uh, I would just go with a jet foot um, at that point. But this can take a guy like me who bought this boat clueless as could be. New, I mostly fish lakes, and then partway through, I realized rivers are where it's at, at least for me. I love them. So um, it was kind of like, oh, I have this boat. What can I do to make this thing work? So uh that's that's kind of what this video is about so then as you can see um my tiller handle extension that just gets your body weight forward in the boat and um you can probably see here two things that you'll want to do if you have a jack plate you can trim all the way down this is manual trim obviously so you just adjust your pin normally when i'm running uh, the jack plate all the way down i will run neutral uh dead center in my third pin um and uh that gets the boat you know carries the bow nicely but doesn't drive it down so when i'm running on a river and it's shallow one foot deep i actually run negative uh, with it trimmed all the way down and that kind of makes the propeller point upwards at the ground actually and that's the beauty of a jack plate versus trim so this actually lifts the back end it drives it up out of the water um, gets you up on plane and then another big important thing that most people probably know run with your tip up lever in the up up position like that that allows the motor to just freely flip up if you hit things so um if you forget these will if you hit hard enough it'll drive right through and it'll it'll lift your motor but this way it's just easier on things um and if you're doing what i'm doing with this you're gonna hit logs i've actually hit three today so um those are just a few little pointers there and uh tiller handle extension just pvc um this is like schedule some schedule 40 i had slid it hose clamp a uh, little, uh, not a, uh, yeah, that is a trailer hitch pin. Um, this just holds my, my handle in and then, uh, it just pulls out real easy. So I can just pull that out, slide this. And, uh, when you're running a jack plate with a setback like this, it is nice to have a slightly longer handle. So it's about uh, six inches longer, I think, than the factory tiller. So, um, those are the kind of cheap things that you can do that are, quality of life when you're on the boat so you're you know you're picking your way through logs and stuff like this it is nice um 
this was my most recent addition. It's just steel. It's unpainted because um, I haven't finalized it, but it's pretty close. I just whipped this up last night, actually, real quick. Um, and it's just a simple bracket design, kind of like a receiver uh, for the handle and real sturdy. I mean, um, I, I almost wanted to make it not sturdy in the event that I do get in a crash that it would give, but I think I almost made it too strong, which that's all right. But uh, that is why I have the handle facing backwards. Now you can, uh, since it just pulls out like that, I can just change it and I don't know, I might do that. It gets it over a little bit and kind of handle area, but uh, so far today I've been running like this because I am hitting logs and I am in foot deep water hitting sandbars and stuff. So, um, but uh, that is really nice because uh, it's a little bit sketchy when you're just kind of cruising along doing 20 mile an hour and uh, you're in a foot of water, you know you're gonna hit stuff and uh, it's you're like constantly bracing for the impact, even though when the motor does flip up, it's uh, the boat keeps momentum. It's not like it suddenly comes to a stop, but uh, it is just feels good having something to hold on to. So simple things that uh, uh, any guy can do himself and uh, really makes a, a boat that you know, is kind of struggled in this shallow stuff where I wouldn't have been, I would have had to have the motor trimmed all the way up and putting through here idling, which uh, I don't, I still don't come flying through here, but now I can cruise up on plane. I can get a lot, lot shallower than I was able to before. So simple things. Hopefully it helps somebody else.